Hey guys, it's Savannah here, back again with another video. Uh, this deck right here is the Alice in Wonderland playing cards, so let's get right on in to the review. This deck right here is a limited edition two deck set inspired by Wonderland. It was designed by Stephen Watson of Turnstile, which were the producers of the deck. However, this deck was funded on Deck Starter, which is um, one of Dan and Dave's uh, affiliate websites. The whole premise of this deck is that it was inspired by Lewis Carroll's fairy tale Alice in Wonderland, and it combines modern styling with lavish Art Nouveau and Art Deco ornamentation. There's two decks in the two deck collection. There's this black version of the deck, which is the cardistry edition, and then there is a white tuck case version, which is the player's edition. Um, as you can tell, it has nice gold foil and embossing on the front of the box. At the top, it has a little A and a spade, and it says uh, Turnstile Production right here. And then it says Alice in Wonderland, and this nice little ornamental thing right here. And at the bottom, it says 54, including the 54 playing cards that are in the deck. And then at the bottom, it says Playing Cards. On the side, it says this is nothing but a deck of cards, featuring all the suits down here with a nice border. On the other side, it says the most dangerous card in the deck is the Queen of Hearts, who, as you guys know, if you are familiar with Alice in Wonderland, she is the ruler of basically the whole down the rabbit hole area. On the bottom, there is some deck starter information right here. And on the top, it says Curiouser on both sides. Next, we get a look at the back design, which we'll get more into once we get inside the cards, um, but it has a nice foil on it. And then you get a glimpse at the seal, which is a stamp-like seal, and it has an A and W just like on the center of the back design right here. Um, however, when I tried to open this deck, um, the seal kept wanting to come off. I literally had to force the seal to stay on here while I opened it, which wasn't very fun. The design continues onto the flap. It's got a website return style right there, and the inside of the box is black. So next, we're going to take a look at the back design. This back design is black and gold, featuring an A and a W right here in the middle, signifying Alice in Wonderland. It kind of has an art deco nouveau style to it, so I can definitely see where that is coming from, and I think it fits really well with the tuck box. So so next we're going to take a look at the two jokers. Both jokers are exactly the same, they just have different coloration on them. One joker is black and one joker is gold. It's a big J um, featuring all the suits right here and it says joker in each corner in um, black and gold and both are like that. And in the corner under the joker it says we are all mad here on both sides on both jokers, which is a famous Alice in Wonderland quote. Next, you get a promo card for Turnstile and a promo card for Deck Starter. So next, we're going to take a look at the Ace of Spades. This Ace of Spades is pretty simplistic, and it definitely reminds me of the ornamentation on the front of the tuck box. It's just an A in the middle of a spade with some ornamentation around it. It says Turnstile Edition at the top, and then it says Turnstile Studios at the bottom. Now, a cool thing about this deck is that each ace has a quote from Alice in Wonderland. So each ace pretty much looks the same except the spade has the ornamentation around it. Ace of clubs says begin at the beginning. The ace of diamonds says nothing but a pack of cards and the ace of hearts says curiouser curiouser. And as you guys can note from the aces themselves the cards in the deck are different colors so the uh, clubs and the hearts are uh, white the diamonds are gold and the spades are black. The pips on these are white um, the pips on the hearts are gold and the pips on the clubs are black. So next we're going to take a look at the court cards. We have the king, the queen, and the jack of spades. Um, they're pretty simplistic for the most part. It just has their suits up here at the top, the big letter for whatever letter it is, so K, Q, or J, and all of the court cards pretty much look like that and their respective color of what the cards are, whether that's white, gold, or black. However, the most powerful card in the entire deck is the Queen of Hearts, um, and it says, off with her head, which is a famous quote from the Queen of Hearts in Alice in Wonderland. If we take a look through the rest of the pack, you'll notice that all the cards uh, look really cool um, when they're all mixed up, um, when they're in their respective colors. It makes for a really awesome fan, but everything is 100% custom from the pip placement to the symbols and on each card, each uh, number card, there's a different color of pip on them, which is something really cool, as you can see right there. I think this deck has a really cool premise and the overall design elements with the different colors of the cards, that's something uh, 
really cool and something you don't see very often. However, the Alice in Wonderland influence and the cards themselves are, are definitely minimalistic. It would have been nice to feel as though I was maybe a little bit more down the rabbit hole with some of the cards. Overall, this deck, it handles fairly well. However, since the backs of the cards are actually different colors, I don't know if that affects the handling. I'm really not quite sure um, because the deck does tend to clump after a few hours of use. Um, it isn't the longest lasting deck that I've ever had in my collection. So this overall deck, I would have to give a four out of five. The stock of this deck um, is that happy median. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. It works well with the finish and doesn't degrade super easily over time. So the stock of this deck, I would have to give a five out of five. The look of this deck I think is really cool. I think it's an overall really nice idea and concept. I think the different colorations of the cards was a nice added touch to make it feel a little bit more like the craziness and weirdness of Alice in Wonderland. However, the subtleties in the whole Alice in Wonderland um, feel into the deck maybe could have made, been made a little less subtle. Um, I understand they were trying to incorporate all these different art forms into the deck and making it like a modern version of Alice in Wonderland. So the look of this deck I would have to give a 3.5 out of 5. The handling and feel of this deck, um, as I said before, I'm not quite sure if the different colorations on the back of the card have anything to do with how it handles. However, the deck isn't super duper long lasting. It does start to clump. So that's definitely something to take into consideration and that's something that I've definitely noticed with the deck itself. So the handling and feel of this deck I would have to give a 3.5 out of five. So thank you guys so much for watching my Alice in Wonderland deck review right here. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful whatsoever, be sure to give it a thumbs up, a like right down below to let me know you guys enjoyed this video. Also be sure to subscribe down below as well to be notified when my next deck review, unboxing, or other video is live. All my social media links are down below as well, my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all the good stuff. Definitely go check that out. And again, I will see you guys next time with a brand new deck review, unboxing, or other video coming your way real soon.